Hello, right, so uh, before we get started, it's very, very important that you watch this video, right? So there's no sales fluff, it's all facts. Let me show you. I am currently on my normal shitty connection, right? So I'm on a mobile connection here in Thailand. Yay, still better than Australia. Anyway, so let me go ahead and begin the test so you can see. So I am currently on a um, four megabyte up, four megabyte down plan, all right? On a, just a normal mobile phone, right? So uh, what have we got here? iPhone 6 Plus, yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and do the ping time. Let's go ahead and do the upload and download speeds. Just so you can kind of like see, right? So yay, there's the download speed, nice. All right, we've got the download speed, so 4 meg, or near as damn it. Upload speed, again, 4 meg, just a little bit over, a little bit under. Eh, 4 meg down, 4 meg up. Right, so normal mobile phone. All right, so now let us jump over to the supercomputer, right? The cloud-based computer. All right, let's go ahead and do that one. So blah, blah, blah. Right, so I'm on a Mac, right? So yeah, don't worry about that. It's an error message. Eh, you always have to okay that one. Something about security or something because that's obviously important. Right, boom, straight there on the old Windows Aru. Okay, and you're like, oh my God. So there we are, I'm on a Mac, all right, but I'm here, I'm on a Windows machine. Ah, all right, and you're like, yeah, shut up, Nath. All right, just show me like what the fucking dealio is. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up uh, the old Chrome Aru. There we go. All right, and uh, so this is still the same connection, right? So let's go on to speed test, speedtest.net. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so thinking, thinking, up she comes, and all right, well, it's already there. What am I talking about? Right, so uh, let's go ahead and do that one, and um, well, there we go, 1.3 gigabyte. <laughs> all right, so oh my god, almost two gigabyte. Okay, so uh, yep, there you go, you hit the two gigabyte, 2.1 gigabyte. Ah, so we're still on, right, the normal shitty four meg down, four meg up connection, right? So let's say that you're in Sydney or, or Brisbane or you're like, oh, out in the stick somewhere in the UK and you've got your shit ADSL connections, you're now connected into the cloud, all right? So the cloud is doing all the processing, all of the connectivity. So you're actually jumping on, right, to a remote computer and that's what we're gonna teach you how to set up, right? It never needs upgrading, it's stupidly quick, all right? So it's like, you know, you might have, I don't know, a, a Pentium 4 or, like, or whatever the fuck it is, right? But this is like a bad boy, all right? It's a Xeon processor. You want some more gigabytes of RAM? Throw some gigabytes. You never need to upgrade your computer again. Your computer, right? Your computer or your laptop is just, you ready? It's just a mouse and a keyboard. You remember the old like green screens in banks, right? They're just like dumb terminals. Well, that's essentially what your computer or your laptop is being turned into, right? This whole start button down here, right, and all that crap, that's actually not on your computer, that's in the cloud, and that's what we're going to teach you how to do that, right? So, it's really important to tell you, all right, and this is super important, all right? This is not going to let you download, right, unlimited amounts of porn, right, on your local computer or Netflix and chill at, like, super, like, fast rates. If you've got a shit internet connection, this isn't going to fix that download and upload speed. It's important that you know that. But let me show you as a general use computer, you're like, ah. so let me open up, uh, I don't know, let's open up uh, something like, uh, oh, I don't know, After Effects. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's go and up, uh, just open that one up. There we go. So this is on the right computer, All right, even though it's on the remote computer, Adobe's still throwing an error. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so let's open it up and you're like, well, how quick is it, Knife? Well, I've got a shit internet connection here relatively for Thailand, upload and download. But let's open up After Effects, so a full Adobe product. So let's go ahead and uh, select a new composition and we'll just call this one, I don't know, we we'll call it Test, all right? But even misspell that, let's let's go OK. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and import some, some, some stuff. So this is what I'm saying, like I'm actually using, right, I'm actually using, there we go, like full-blown Adobe products and it's completely usable. I am using in the cloud on my local computer, right, I'm actually using the very latest version of Adobe, right, and its render speed is off the rick to scale, all right? So this is my cloud computer. It doesn't matter where in the world I am and from what device I'm using it from. It could be a Mac. Could be some clapped out shit virus ridden PC from like four years ago. Doesn't matter, right? All your computer is, or your laptop is, is mouse movements, key presses, and screen updates. Your computer is the equivalent of those bank dumb terminals, right? Amazing! All right, so you've seen how quick it is. 
it's completely usable. Like, let me just import some in here. Like, I, I got no idea. Maybe, well, hopefully we've got some videos or this could be a bit awkward, really, but eh, I don't know. So do we have any, like, stuff? Do we have any, like, no, we don't have any video. Oh, no, I need to download some video. Hold my beer, fam. Let's go in this one. Let's go on to, a, I don't know, a 8K video download, all right? Let's go ahead and do that. So, uh, yeah, and we're going to go on to the red cam oh, red sample files. I don't know if you know red cameras, but they're the people that do the 8K cameras. Amazing. So let's go ahead and download this one. So this is, let's have a look. Um, I have no idea, but this is a good test, right? This is an example of why you'd want to use it, right? So this one is uh, something like 1.48 gigabyte down here. Let's go ahead and download it. Boom. All right, so starting the download. All right, so, uh, oh no, two hours. One hour, all right. Oh no, 36 minutes, oh, 29 minutes. All right, so we're gonna download this huge, humongous, great big 8K file. So let's go ahead and download it. Apparently it's only got like 12 minutes left. <laughs> let's just download this one. So I don't know what time it is. Apparently it says 5.35 in the morning time. Eh, so let's just go ahead and download this one. All right, so seven minutes left. Right, so you don't want to watch this because it'd be like proper dull, but it's a 1.4 gigabyte file. So I'll just skip forward, 5.35 a.m. That's what you need to remember, right? Back in a sec. <laughs> you know what, I was going to pause it until the very end, but it's 5.36, so it's been like a minute, right? And well, you can see down here, <laughs> it's almost downloaded the 1.4 gigabyte file. All right, so that's what we're going to do now. So it's 7.654321. So let's just bring that one down. All right, as you can see, we've downloaded like in just over a minute, <laughs> 1.4 gigabyte file. All right, so there we go, and we're done. So now what I'm gonna do, right, and this is the power that I want you to recognize, okay? So we're on the cloud computer. Uh, let's open up, uh, let's go drive.google.com, right? So uh, drive.google.com. So I've downloaded this Mahusif great big file in the cloud. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and like uh, log into my Google Drive. All right, okay, so this is all tickety-boo. So now we're in the cloud and we wanna put the 1.4 gigabyte file in, let's say, our Google Drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna show this in the folder, happy days. All right, so there we go. And I'm now gonna move the 1.4 gigabyte file. I'm gonna put it into my Google Drive, all right? So there we go, upload it to my drive, happy days. And now you can see, obviously, it's Google Drive, so now it's uploading the file. So um, there we go, it's uploading um, 1.4 gigabyte. I, I suppose I'll come back in a minute because otherwise it will, well, it will literally be a minute. Please hold. All right, so it's 5.39 when we started. It's now 5.40 a.m. apparently, and you can see we've actually finished the upload. <laughs> All right, so for files that get sent to you from, like, say, your videographer, your graphic designer, um, you know, suppliers, right, large video files, multi-gigabyte files, right, and um, when they're sent to you, you can now just open them and manipulate them with ease. You can actually do the video rendering at super, super quick as well, right? So it's really, really important that you understand that once you're actually connected into the supercomputer, right, the cloud-based computer, magical things can happen. But it's not, right, for you to basically go, well, I've got a shitty ADSL connection, I will download... <coughs> I'll download my crappy connection, right? Like all of like Netflix's series ever. That's not gonna happen. But if you have got a shit computer, you were thinking about upgrading it. If you have got like a, the use for like working with big files all the time, right? Um, if you have got uh, the ability to go, well, I need a general purpose computer that's just like really super quick, but I don't need it all the time. I can pay by the hour, for example. This is the solution for you, right? So if that makes sense to you, and of course it will, Ping me like whatever, I think there's a link down here or something if you're interested, you're like, oh no, if we can find me on Facebook, nathan.he.77, all right, just ping me there if need be. But I don't think that after re watching this video that you sort of like, are any doubts that this is a shit solution. It is the Bobby Ollux, right? So the next thing you need to do is, I think it's over here, right? I think, what well, was over this way? I don't know, but anyway, buy the course, learn how to do it, and in the next 30 minutes, right, you can actually have a computer that's as quick as this. <laughs>